My name's Seth Lewis, I'm 19 and I've played football for 16 years. I've been a part of the Boddington Eagles Football Club and the Mundong Centres Football Club. I enjoy football because I enjoy being around my friends that are now family to me and just the love of the sport and watching the younger kids develop and grow. My favourite achievements of football would be playing my 100th game because it just was a big milestone to me and just made me feel like I've achieved a lot playing football. Also in 2015 playing in the grand final as a year eight um, just showed the hard work that the whole team put in over the year to achieve it, beating Bibber Lake by 43 points was something really big to us at that age. In August 2020, I dislocated my left knee. A few months after that, I dislocated my right knee. Roughly three months after that, I dislocated my left knee, jumping a fence trying to take a shortcut back home, rupturing my ACL, my MCL, my PCL, and fracturing my tibia. In the last 12 months, I've only managed to play two games, which were the first two games of this season. Due to my knee injury, I spent a lot of time at home by myself, and it puts you in a dark place where you feel like there's no one else around. You feel like you're excluded from everything. You don't see your family or friends, you don't catch up with people from sporting clubs that you used to see three times a week and it really takes a toll on your mental health. Personally I think men's mental health is kind of swept under the carpet, you're just kind of given the mentality of you're meant to be strong, you're meant to be tough, you're told to toughen up. It's fine. It's not hard to message your mate and say, like, how are you going? What are you up to? Do you want to catch up? Obviously you feel that no one else is trying. Um, and you get to a state where you feel like you have to reach out for everyone. No one's trying to reach out for you. I'm currently seeing a knee surgeon to book in my surgery for my knee reconstruction. And hopefully after that I'll be able to get back out in the footy field and enjoy my footy again. Been making clear for the first time in a while.